afternoon. Happy to be back up here. I'm Heather McDowell, the founder and CEO of Tickle Water. I want to reiterate that in a world of complicated and exotic beverages, Tickle Water is pure and simple. That's our greatest strength and our main selling point. It's triple filtered water, a shot of carbonation, and a drop of natural flavoring. No sugar, no sweeteners, sodium, GMOs, preservatives, or calories. It's the solution to the dilemma every parent faces every day. What drink do I give my kids that they want and that I want for them? Tickle Water wins on both counts, and it has two big things going for it. One, I'm a mother on a mission, and few things in nature can contend with that. And uh, two, Mother Nature is backing me up on that. Our main source of hydration is, was, and forever will be water. Pure, clean, and simple. Proper hydration helps us feel better, think better, and perform better. My mission, like my product, is crystal clear, to get more kids drinking more water, to get them to reach for tickle water over less healthy, sugary drinks. With bottled water literally saturating the beverage market, you're probably wondering, why another? The answer is, there's no other signature water that's made specifically for kids. It's the only kid's beverage that tickles the tongue, is naturally flavored, and has no artificial anything. But do kids like it? Will they want it? Can tickle water compete with chocolate milk, sweet drinks, and artificial coloring? Let me tell you a story. Actually, better yet, let me show you our story. I always liked sparkling water. He takes his first sip, and he looks at me, and he laughs and giggles. He's asking me for tickle water. Wow, he's asking for water, and he's enjoying it. He thinks it's cool. He thinks it's fun because he's having what I'm drinking. Triple filtered water, 100% natural flavors, all from natural ingredients. It's healthy, there's no sugar in it. He used to reach for milk boxes or the juice boxes. If it had color, he wanted it. Now, he was specifically asking for tickle water. I'm giving him something that he wants, and it's good for him. So I put together a first-rate team to build a game-changing kids' brand. We decided that bubbles would define us. Bubbles tickle, bubbles are fun, and if you're going to do something for kids, you better make it fun. We worked with a renowned flavor house and sourced from only fruits, plants, and herbs. We resisted adding any functional ingredients, and with zero additives, this would appeal to the increasing number of vigilant label-reading parents. As a mom, I had the ultimate focus groups, playdates, birthday parties, and playgrounds. I tested, observed, and asked questions. And if there's one thing about kids, they're honest. They know what they like, they know what they don't, and they're not afraid to tell you. Ultimately, the winning and uniquely delicious flavors rose to the top. Green apple, watermelon, cola, and surprisingly enough, natural. When it came to packaging, we literally broke the mold. Tickle Water is the only drink in America to come in an eight ounce, clear plastic, BPA-free, and recyclable can. The pull tab aluminum lid makes kids feel like grown-ups. Tickle Water is pure, it's honest, and there's no better way to showcase our transparency as a company than with this clear can. Our design is eye candy, sophisticated as I call it. Premium but approachable, kid-friendly but not juvenile. It appeals to young people from tiny to teens. Our metallic gold shines and is a bold move away from primary colors. We incorporated hipster animals that are eclipsing the names of the flavors. My son Jager says, Mommy, I want the tiger, not I want green apple. We launched in Manhattan in February. In less than four months, we opened over 100 accounts in the tri-state area. Uh, our reorder rate has far exceeded our projections. In the past month, we announced a new partnership with a natural and organic distributor. With their help, we'll be on grocery shelves where our target consumer shops for their families. Tickle Water caters to a young audience that lives on social media, and we're active on every platform. We also market through events, demos, beach shuttles in the Hamptons, truck wraps, and partnerships with high-profile organizations like the High Line and Hudson River Park. Look, as a society, we're more and more concerned with what we put into our bodies. Health-conscious parents who scrutinize food labels are choosing Tickle Water. And once kids try it, they love it. That movement will make Tickle Water a major player. Smart habits don't just happen, they must be learned. And as parents and mentors and educators, we have a responsibility to instill healthy habits in our children at an early age. So that's why we say, drink your bubbles. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. You can stay up here with me. That's right. I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you can come over here. I won't bite. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, Heather said that she wanted to create a game-changing uh, brand for kids. Bill, I mean, is she on the right path? You know, I kind of like it. I, I will say 
typically love kids, hate kids products, because I just don't see that many that are well crafted. And a lot of times when I'm trying flavored waters, they come across as a little tinny in flavor. I think the flavors are good here. I found the product a little ticklish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I do think the product, the packaging is sharp and the flavors are really good. I think it's uh, very, very nice. Very nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. Kara, what do you think about this product? And, you know, is it real, well marketed? I mean, there were some comments yesterday from some of the judges that it's, uh, you know, it was marketed more to moms than it was to kids. But what's your take on it? A um, couple things. I, I, I think it tastes great. The, the, the look is sharp. A um, couple questions I would have. Uh, first of all, is it, is it recyclable with the metal top? Combined? The top is recyclable, the bottom is recyclable. Technically, it should be separated. Needs How do you separated. do that? You don't. Um, Look, that's my, my first question. You need to figure that out, right? Yeah. Because it, you're, you're, you're selling a lie otherwise, right? Because the recycling systems will not take it, right. and people are going to find out about it, and they should, right? So it's a big, it's a big problem. You're not, right. It might take you a few years to solve it, but I would go after that because she's thinking it, I'm thinking it, other people are going to yeah. think it right. I, I would fix that sooner than later. I wouldn't mm -hmm. wait. If, I wouldn't launch broadly, especially, I mean, if you're making a claim about recyclable packaging, it yeah. needs to be actually recyclable. Um, no one's going to take the time to take a knife to that and separate the two no, pieces. No. Um, Unless you do, right? <laughs> if you have to. Yeah, set if up there's a, a way to, to make that easy. Right. But at the same time, people still won't do it. Yeah. Um, so, right. you know, that's going to be something that becomes an issue for your brand. Um, and I got to say, we just, in my experience at Whole Foods, we never had success with anything that was kid focused that wasn't a, in a pouch or, a, you know, a, a, a baby food. Mm -hmm. um, we've, I've seen products similar to this in the past and they, we've given them a shot and maybe now's the time, I hope it is um, for you, but I, I just haven't seen a lot of success with kid focused products um, uh, of this nature. Yeah. Scott, where do you stand on, uh, on kids' beverages? You know, VEB's helped grow Honest Kids quite a bit, and, you know, it's, it's doing very, very well. Do you think there's more white space potential for a brand like Tickle Water? Clearly white space. Um, I think the thesis of getting kids to drink beverages like this is right on. Um, if you can fix the whole recycle issue, I just love that the packaging is so different. Um, you know, whether it's a kid's beverage or another beverage, this thing of a recyclable see-through can, I've never seen that before. It's very clever. Yeah. John, where do you stand on the product and the taste of the product? I mean, I still, I really like it. Like I said yesterday, I kind of want to drink it myself. Um, you know, I think that's, you know, said that yesterday, I think there's kind of a broader opportunity for it. I think, you know, everyone's kids obviously grow up and, and so on. And, you know, I think this is something that unlike, you know, a, a juice pouch, like you want to keep drinking. So I think that's something that, you know, if you're able to get them early and, you know, make this product that's just part of your life, like, you know, it's great. Yeah. You know, fizzy drinks, are, I mean, it seems like everyone wants to have a fizzy drink these days, especially with the decline of carbonated soft drinks and, you know, high fructose corn syrup and things like that. Um, but should Heather be thinking beyond the, the kids drink, I know John agrees, or thinks that's, that should be the, the case. Mark, where do you stand on that? Look, I think um, you gotta pick your battles out of the gate. You, you, you haven't earned the right to do anything but this today. Um, and the question would be, you know, if how committed you are to the product, the packaging, the brand, or what really you're about. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I, I do worry about that, you know, from when I put on my investor lens saying, where does this go? There's a big difference between the honest, brand that had a kids and a kid specific brand where you're always going to worry about them, you know, graduating out. Right. And I would agree, you know, my, my girls are 13, 15, they would be all over this. They start finding out it's a kid's drink, they might not be, right? right. And so I think there's, that's a marketing challenge, but I'd say, um, you know, get it out, execute it. And literally, if you have to for a while, set up a system where you take these back you figure out how to do something with them. Because right. I know it's gonna take you a while to figure out recycling, mm -hmm. but, um, but you, you'll learn. You know? But I wouldn't be afraid of tweaking the brand in a way that makes it broader. Okay, thank you. Great points, great feedback. Thanks so much, Heather. Thanks. All right. Thanks.